In a past video, I showed something most RV owners don't realize is possible. Moving power from a hidden battery bank into the EcoFlow and even reverse charging that battery bank back through the EcoFlow. If you want to see that setup, I'll link that video in the description. But today, I'm taking the idea to the next level. I doubled the battery capacity using four slim lead time batteries, and now the engine can actually help charge them while I'm driving. For me, it really comes down to one simple equation. More watt hours plus more charging options equals more off-grid time. If you're new here, my EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 is what runs the RV when I'm off-grid, and I've been on a bit of a mission adding as much off-grid power as I can while taking up the least amount of space. These are slim lead time 12.8 volt 100 amp hour batteries, four of them, mounted behind the driver's seat where they're completely out of the way. This has basically become my RV's version of a power wall tucked into space that normally doesn't get used. Wired together, they create a 25.6 volt 200 amp hour system just over 5,000 watt hours, and I didn't lose a single storage compartment. So if you have a little dead space like this in your RV, a setup like this might actually be possible for you too. I'm using two EcoFlow 800 watt alternator chargers, but this one is not connected to the engine. It sits between the lead time battery bank and the Delta Pro 3, and it moves power through the expansion port instead of the solar ports, which keeps the wiring simple and lets the alternator charger handle its own protections. And just like before, I can reverse the flow. In the app, I choose reverse charging and the power station and the alternator charger handles it automatically. That means I do not need a separate battery charger for this setup. Here's what's new. This second alternator charger is connected to the engine battery. So when I'm driving, the alternator sends power into the EcoFlow, and from there, the EcoFlow manages everything. It powers the RV, keeps itself charged, and when I enable it in the app, it can also charge the lead time batteries at the same time. If I'm boondocking and I run the onboard generator, it charges the EcoFlow and the EcoFlow can recharge the lead time batteries. Because the solar ports are still free, my rooftop solar plugs in normally and adds charging too. And when I plug into the shore power, the EcoFlow charges automatically. And if reverse charging is already enabled in the app, it will top off the lead time batteries as well. Let's look at this in real time. I'll pull up the EcoFlow app so you can actually see the power flow. Right now, the EcoFlow is powering the RV and pulling power from the lead time batteries through the alternator charger. You can see the watts coming in and the watts going out. Now the engine is running. Watch the input. Power is coming in from both alternator chargers and the EcoFlow is powering the RV and charging itself. The EcoFlow is basically acting like the power hub. Here's where everything comes together. The engine is still running, solar is adding power, and the generator is charging the power station all at the same time. And all of this is happening completely off grid. None of it depends on shore power. The EcoFlow uses what it needs to power the RV and sends the extra power back into the lead time batteries and charging itself. That's the big benefit. More charging options means more off-grid time. Now, before we wrap up, here's a quick visual so you can see how everything ties together. Each 25.6 volt battery bank has a 50 amp terminal fuse. The alternator chargers have their own protection and the wiring runs are sized correctly. Now this isn't a wiring guide, it's just my setup. Always follow manufacturer specs or talk with a professional if you're unsure. So this upgrade more than doubled my battery capacity, didn't cost me any storage space, and now I can charge the system from the engine, generator, solar, shore power, and even back and forth through the EcoFlow. 
I'll put the full parts list and the original video in the description. Thanks so much for watching and stay charged.